Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Raven, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about all the celebrities that have so far passed away as of 2022, and this is still only January. So first, in January that I have on this list here is Louis Anderson. He was 68 years old, and he has died from battling cancer. It is said that his cancer was large B-cell lymphoma. Next on the list is Meatloaf, who died January 20th, 2022. It is said he was surrounded by his wife and daughters. He was 74 years of age at the time of his passing. Although, as of now, there is no word yet as to what caused his untimely passing. Fashion legend Andre Leontali was 73 years old, who has unfortunately died after an unknown illness. His death was confirmed by a friend of his, Darren Walker, the president of the Ford Foundation. His passing was on January 18th. 16 and pregnant alum Jordan Cashmere tragically died at the age of 26. The former reality star who appeared on the MTV show in 2014 died on January 5th. The cause of death was not immediately confirmed for her. And as of now, there's still no news yet. Former Bachelorette contestant Clint Arliss passed away mid-January. He was only 34 years old. He competed on season 11 for Caitlin Bristol's Heart on the dating competition series. He was eliminated from the show in his third week. And no word yet as to how he passed away as well. Probably the saddest death that I know of is Bob Saget. I grew up watching him on Full House and he was also the host of America's Funniest Videos. He has died on January 9th at the age of 65. He was found the morning after he had just done a comedy bit in Florida. Although at the time there was no evidence as to what killed him. Now they're saying it was just simply a heart attack. There's no drugs involved. No foul play. Academy Award winning actor Sidney Poitier died at the age of 94 on January 7th. His cause of death was not immediately confirmed. He made appearances in iconic films including A Raisin in the Sun and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Filmmaker and historian Peter Bogdanovich died at the age of 82 on January 6th from natural causes. He has most famously directed the 1971 drama The Last Picture Show which received eight Oscar nominations. South Korean actress Kim Mi Soo died at the age of 29 on January 5th. No cause of death was immediately released. She was known for a role in the JTBC series Snowdrop. She also was starring in the Disney Plus show Six Sense Kiss before her passing. Broadway star Joan Kaplan died at the age of 99 on January 4th. She made a name for herself in the roles of Pal Joey and The American Clock. Also starred in soap operas including Search for Tomorrow and One Life to Live. Jay Weaver, aka Big Daddy Weave, bassist, died at the age of 42 on January 2nd with COVID-19 complications. Dr. Max Julian died at the age of 88 on January 1st. He was known for his role as Goldie in the film The Mac. He also appeared in the 1970s Getting Straight and Def Jam's How to Be a Player. And he wrote 1973's Cleopatra Jones. For all of you football fans out there, NFL legend Dan Reeves died at the age of 77 on January 1st of dementia complications. He was a running back for the Dallas Cowboys from 1965 to 1972. He played in nine Super Bowls, winning in 1972 against the Miami Dolphins. He went on to coach the teams including the Cowboys, Denver Broncos, and New York Giants before retiring in 2013. It is very sad to see how many deaths, just celebrity-wise, already starting in 2022, and it's just begun. 2022 isn't even halfway through. We're still in January. So it's very sad to see that this is what's happening right now. So my only hope is that not only does everyone rest in peace that we talked about today, but also that things just get better and the amount of deaths from celebrities and regular people start to slow down that we don't have so many because that's all we've been hearing about lately. And it's very depressing to hear, you know? So let's send a prayer or positive vibe into the universe, whatever you believe in, that things start going back to a more normal situation. I will see you on the next video. Bye!